Today's video, I'm going to be giving you one of the best coverages post-patch. This coverage got a massive, massive improvement in the patch, and I'm super excited to bring it to you. I've been waiting to do this all year, and it just really wasn't, uh, wasn't there. So um, let's get into it. This is the modern way that people do play defense in the real NFL, which I'm really excited about. This is like one of the best coverages in the game. It's the reason for a lot of the narrative around split safety coverages, and that is match coverage so these are the audibles i want you to set in your dollar defense cover six willy super important to have this in your defense i'm going to talk a little bit about it we're going to primarily focus on cover four quarters um, as that is our main coverage here and then these are two other blitzes that you can have and if you want to get my entire dollar defense the beauty of dollar is they put match defense into this so you have cover four quarters you have cover six Willie, you have cover four palms you have cover six you have everything that you need you even have cover three match in here as well um, but you have everything that you need to be really 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 really, really effective we're going to flip uh, our coaching adjustments, auto flip off, auto alignment to base, option defense conservative, really important. Do not set any zone drops. Do not set any zone drops, okay? We're going to flip double safety go. That's mainly for cover six Willie. And we're going to get into this. So uh, first and foremost, I want to show you one of the most popular ways that people have beat b bombed match for a really long time. Um, and that's even if even if this guy's motioned out, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but it's this right here, okay? So what, what used to have happen is basically this – this um, right side safety here would run to the post. Now, what you're going to see happen, if I just, oops, let me go back to cover four quarters here. Um, I'm just going to spy this guy. I'm going to spy everybody just so you can see the coverage at work. Watch this coverage play. This is about as perfect coverage as you could possibly get. And we'll go into replay and explain what's going on. So essentially the way that match coverage is designed to work and really the reason why it is good is it's supposed to put your players in the best position to match the best le the routes that they are best leveraged to match. So against Bunch, this outside quarter defender is looking for the first up and out, outside, top outside corner. Um, so you see he's looking for like a corner route. As you see here, he gets one, so he takes that, right? This inside quarter is looking for the first guy up, um, up and to a degree in, but really more up and in. And as you see, he's able to take this streak, right? This was what used to dumb out is he would actually go to the post in previous uh, renditions of this match coverage. The next thing that uh, is supposed to happen is this backside quarter is supposed to look for work or be a poach safety He's looking to poach a crosser. As you see here, he poaches the tight end crosser really, really well. And then last but not least, this quarter, um, who's actually over here, he is uh, essentially going to be man locked onto the solo wide receiver and guarding him wherever he goes, okay? So as you see there, it, it did a really, really good job. Now, let's talk about a couple of other popular plays uh, that I wanted to show you. So when a formation audibles or motions, the rules do change slightly, but it's not a, a, a ton different. So one of the most meta combos as well in this game would be something like this to be able to kind of glitch coverage. Let's take a look at how match coverage defends this. You're going to see here that it does a really, really, really good job of defending this. And look at these match coverage players run almost like psy psychic to the routes. So let's just go back into replay, and we're going to break this down. So when they motion, they do this auto motion play that everybody likes to do. Remember, this guy's an inside quarter. Well, now he doesn't have to look for work on the right side as a poach. Uh, he doesn't have to look to the left side to get any work. He has work right in front of him. So he's gonna match number two vertically up the, se up the seam. This guy out here is gonna match number one out outside. So as you see here, he's starting to match that wheel, right? So then the only thing is left is his quarter flat is really looking for the shallow crosser. You see he's able to take that late. And then last but not least, notice this. Notice that this inside quarter is gonna cut that cross of the formation. So it's a super good coverage uh, post-patch. There's not a lot of stuff that's going to, to break it. Now, one thing I want to explain and I want you to see here that is very important is if they go to bunch strong. So if they go to bunch strong, they are going to be able to kind of, quote, unquote, break your match coverage. And so what you'll see here with bunch strong is if we run that same combination that we showed you. This is not going to, it's not going to, it actually played kind of okay, not going to lie, uh, but it's not going to play as good. And if we look at the replay here, you're going to see 
look at this corner route to the right. You see how that quarter's really not guarding it? Now, it's not doing a bad job of defending this combo, right? The quarter flat's carrying it really well. Uh, you're still going to get some – you're going to get, like, remnants of match. So, like, look at this backside quarter. You see he's not really doing anything but the quarter flats. Look at how aggressive the quarter flats are playing underneath. And then look at that three rec come underneath. So it's, it's not going to necessarily be a, a full-blown match coverage where they convert into man coverage, but they're going to still play a little bit better. They're going to react a little bit better in zones. Now, one other tip that I have for you with this defense, or a couple others, is if you shade underneath. So let's just shade this cover four underneath, and I'm going to go to uh, I'm going to go to bunch nasty now. So this would be a formation. As long as there's not four receivers to one side of the formation, you're going to get the match coverage that you want, right? So, but now I've shaded my coverage underneath, and what you're going to see is when you shade your coverage underneath here now you're not going to get the same match. As you see here, it's really more like that drop cover three. Now, the inside quarters and the zones, in my opinion, are playing really, really well uh, from this defense, even though it's not quote-unquote matching. So one of my favorite things, one of my favorite things to do right now is to go to cover four quarters, just shade underneath, you know, and we can just basically play defense like this, just shade underneath, and watch these quarter zones just get, just get real, just get real tough. Real tough windows, right? Real tough windows. I can click on and go make a play on that, potentially swat it, whatever, okay? So match coverage has to have, this is really important, it has to have quarter flats or seam flats to be activated. If you take the quarter flats off the field, it cancels the match coverage. So there's reasons that you might want that. There's reasons why you might not. Now I want to talk about cover six Willie. So we talked a little bit about cover six Willie. So if you look at cover six Willie, it's cover four to the right, right? Cover six Willie, in my opinion, is worth talking about because it's the best blitz in the game. If I stand over here, you see I got a decent chance of this coming free. I actually blocked my running back. But if I put my running back on a route, this is only a send four blitz. If I put my running back on a route, this is going to be consistently one of the best blitzes in the game post-patch. That time the guard picked him up, it does not happen all the time. Um, it, it does not happen all, uh, all the time. Uh, another thing that you can do is in the cover four quarters, you can uh, blitz this slot, right? And then you can take this linebacker. Now, now we're not going to have a uh, match on this right side, but you can blitz this slot if you want to try to maybe get some, some pressure out of cover four quarters if you're trying to blitz out of your match. Let me show Cover 6 Willie one more time, and then we'll talk a little bit about how you can create coverages out of Cover 6 Willie, um, which I do think is worth touching on here. Yeah, the guard's actually just picking it up, so I don't know. Maybe the, maybe, maybe the blitz is already broken. Who knows? Um, trust me, it's still a really good blitz, okay? Um, let me just get a little aggressive, more aggressive with my user here. You see I'm able to pull him out. It just forces a blocked running back or a slide pro, and then you can get into some of the other types of blitzing at a dollar. So... Anyways, uh, but cover six Willie is match coverage, right? It is match coverage, um, especially to one side of the field. So what you want to do is let's say you want to, you're watching this, and you're like, okay, I want to be able to run match coverage out of cover six Willie because it's the best pressure in the game. What you want to do is you want to quarter both the safety, the safety and the corner on the left, and really important, seam flat. Seam flat that slot corner. And now let's say that we go back to um, – I don't want to be in trips, though. Let me get back to, um, let me get back to, oh, my gosh, now we're motioning people. <sighs> Good old Madden. Uh, let's get, okay, we can't, and now we're going to motion back because everything's delayed. They just can't, they just, the buttons just don't work. They, they just, they just, sometimes they just don't work, guys. Okay, so we're going to go back to bunch, and you're going to see here that I'm going to corner like this. And then we'll just block this guy. And I just want you to watch how this how this works. Um, so snap the ball. We just kind of let this go. And you're going to see, look at this, guys. It's the match concept. It's the match concept on both sides. So if you take a look here, watch this inside quarter. Watch him cut that tight end post for you. You don't have to guard that anymore because now you have this. Now, I want to get just a little bit more in depth with this. This is going to mean, in my opinion, that the best offense in the game is going to have to be bunch strong. Uh, 100%, I think it has to be bunch strong. That being said here, I want to show you like a combo, like a verticals type thing. So let's say they run like a verticals play on you. Again, cover six Willie, what we should get here. Uh, it might be a little different, but you should get a cut 
of that post or crosser from this guy. So we'll see just kind of how this goes. All you're going to have to do is kind of sit down in here. Look at that post get cut and gets double teamed as well. Okay. Super, super big deal that this coverage is really good. This coverage is also um, just for just for a little bit of uh, just for a little bit of sauce here. I want to show you this against trips as well. Um, the beauty of bunch and trips is they represent the main formations you're going to face, and also conceptually, if you can handle bunch and trips, it's not as hard to handle two by two sets. Uh, just, just, just kind of speaking from experience. So let's say you know you're running up against a trips and they do something like this, right? Well, we go to our cover four, um, or cover four quarters. You're going to see here that this should play pretty decent. Okay, it should. I'll sit, I don't know if it will. Um, and that time it kind of got kind of got broken, honestly, on that. Let's go to Cover 6 Willie. So Cover 6 Willie is coded slightly different than Cover 4. Uh, cover 6 Willie is because you're using the seam flat, too, on this left side. It could be a little bit different. Uh, the seam flat should carry the vertical, and then the quarter should match the um, the corner. And it's that, that actually wor worked better and worked more like what we want it to do. The main thing you're getting out of match coverage, guys, is you're getting safeties in the passing game that can, I call them poach safeties. They can poach crossers and corners. So like, let's go to a combo like, like this, for example. This crosser used to have to be usered, right? Well, now you should get a nice poach and cut from that safety, and then you're able to just stay underneath with your user. So it really is going to help limit the big play and make your defense, I think, a bajillion times better if you start utilizing match coverage poach patch. And if you want to use it out of cover six, Willie, you want to be quarter quarter seam flat and this is going to be kind of what you want to be in i think this is the best version of the match as you see there's that time that that time our cover six willie kind of shows you what is possible within the defense but make sure that you are using match coverage post patch if they're in a four strong i don't think that it's a failure to call a match coverage play just understand that it's not going to match everything like you want it to but you can obviously use switch stick for that you can kind of cross man if you want but you see just how, hopefully you see in this video, how powerful the match coverage can be.